Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Now, this is probably going to be the last, at least for a little while, of Overwatch videos. And the reason for that is essentially uh, CS2 or Counter-Strike 2 or whatever you want to call it. Essentially, they've taken out a few features of CS. And CS, to be fair, seems to be running not the best as of late. But yeah, that is essentially the reason. So I don't have Overwatch anymore, and I don't think many people do either after the most recent update, which is fine. But yeah, jumping into this one, it was definitely interesting, this whole kind of thing. So all these cases, a lot of them were very short. I was saying last time, like, the clips seem to get, be getting shorter. And the, to be fair, they've gotten even shorter. I think there was one where I literally only had three clips. Yeah, trying to, like, work with that wasn't the best. But uh, I've done something better, so obviously, <laughs> previously I literally could not remember what I had done, what I hadn't done. Um, so I've kind of just cleaned that up essentially and actually written some stuff down. I've been a little bit smarter with how I'm doing my videos. But I just wanted to essentially as well, like, update you guys on what I'm going to do. So it's probably going to be a lot of CS2 kind of videos or speculation. I'm not in the beta, I don't think many people are. But yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to make some new kind of content, some hopefully better content and we'll see how that goes but yeah for this first one obviously we talked a lot for it uh i put this guy down as not i didn't think there was anything super suspicious he wasn't overly aggressive either maybe a bit mid but apart from that not really and uh, now this guy i put him down for vision assistance uh, another thing as well obviously which i talked about a few episodes uh now ago was just turning off x-ray every now and again so you should see some of that Basically just to see, you know, what they would see if they were playing CS. Now the first thing is this guy is aggressive. Um, he definitely kind of, I think, re-aims areas as you can see there. That was quite a clear kind of example. But he does get things wrong as well. He does uh, get himself in bad positions. He whiffs a shot right here. Kind of that 30 degree angle. Um, so yeah, you know, definitely hasn't got all the kind of tricks. But I think just had a bit too much information for where he was. And yeah, overall, I, I thought hacking. <laughs> Again, this was one that could maybe change, maybe not. It's kind of, it was just close on the line, right? There weren't a lot of clips. I was definitely kind of using the report button a bit more liberally. But yeah, this is one we have an Overwatch case, so I think this is the last one for the, until the next two that we have a few more kind of examples. So for this one, I believe this guy, he was really just on it, really snappy there as you can see. Definitely had some skill and awareness, but he was also like overconfident, like here, I've just pumped the bomb, like time-wise. He does peek out and he does actually look for the kills as well. Like right here, he's not being overly aggressive. So nothing early at the moment. But he, he does try and slowly kind of turn it up. And there are moments like right there, he misses it. But yeah, I essentially put this guy down for vision assistance just for all the kind of stuff. Again, you know, I would maybe possibly change it uh, based on, you know, just really looking at it really. And, and sometimes, you know, you need that kind of like second look. And sometimes you can tell straight away. Uh, this guy as well using his sound quite well. Taking over B site quite easily, I think, is the other thing. So he's very much like solo entering. Which again, you know, is a thing I think a lot of people, if you're an entry, you're more likely to get done if you're a good entry as well. Because you're going to be counted as aggressive. Um, and, you know, you're going to get in those first kills of the round, which I think is what people get really annoyed at when they die first in a round. They get really annoyed. But yeah, shots like that was like, maybe, you know, he, he knows or he's aware of like uh, stuff, more stuff than he should be. But yeah, it, it, it's a real mix. Definitely some clips I think that would exonerate him. And then some other clips where I thought, is he, you know, playing too much uh, with too much information, essentially. But yeah, that's why we've just gone for that one there. And this next one is really short, to be fair. 
half mini clips, I believe. Yeah, three or four. So this guy, you know, firstly, you know, Deagle's fine to be fair on this. You know, it looks like they're all kind of saving. But he just starts to get more and more aggressive as the rounds go on, essentially. But yeah. So some of the information there is absolutely fine. I think all of the information actually is just his kind of plays. And then, I'm re just remembering it now, he, he turns up to 11. We'll see in a minute. But yeah, here, here it is. T starting to turn it up to 11. Just shooting a guy through the wall pretty much there. And then you'll see he really just start shooting people everywhere, basically. I will let this one play through. You can see he's kind of lining up the guy there. He knows the guy is opposite the wall. Obviously that guy threw a grenade so he wouldn't know he's there or around that area. Um, he's double scoped in as well, which is probably important. So he actually legs that guy. And then he's just kind of lining it up. Mates get naded. And he's kind of beginning to turn it on here. As you can see. Uh, legging guy there. And just weird movement, basically. He's in a 1v1. I don't think he's going to play fair, to be honest. Yeah, as you can see, kind of just going through the wall. And then, yeah, does kill him through the wall eventually, so... Yeah, I think that was a pretty easy one. He also shot his teammate at some point, so... Not the best player to be playing with. Now these ones are getting really short now. So this one I put down for aim assistance. I just bought headshots, you know, right there. <clears throat> just a few things. Again, I try and look for real more clips, but there really wasn't a lot to go with. You know, if you just get this, it's really hard to judge. So I kind of went by the headshot percentage as well, which is quite high. But yeah, that was quite a hard one. And I do kind of go back on myself and think, you know, do I want to put him down for it? Eventually, yes, you know, I would I would have loved more clips to assess it, but that's kind of all I got there. This one I actually put as not cheating. So this was a wingman game, and I think for wingman, you know, people judge it very quickly based on you know, a few bad rounds. Honestly, there wasn't really that much bad here. This guy, he plays off the sounds quite well, you know, especially on uh, the short dust. Really easy just to pay off sounds, actually, and that's what he does. His reaction times aren't amazing, only on a few kills, which you'll see on the x-ray. Yeah, so like there, you know, quite fast reactions. I'm kind of, you know, thinking at this point, maybe. I think there's one other kill that's pretty suspect when x-ray is off. But there are also moments like that where he doesn't shoot uh, first. And here again, you know, he actually has to spot the guy, and you can visually see it. But yeah, for that one, I would say not cheating still. I, I'm pretty happy with that. And then this last one we have coming up here. We have put definitely aim and ball cheating based on his mid presence. And he literally just looked through the guy there. But yeah, that was a pretty easy one. But yeah, as I've kind of said as well, videos run now. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I'm definitely hoping to better edit my videos, essentially. Uh, he also does some griefing. Um... So yeah, there's that as well. But yeah, it's definitely, hopefully, a lot of more stuff coming. I definitely need a new PC at some point because CS2 looks like it's going to run harder than my current uh, throttling PC. But yeah, like I said, I do hope you guys enjoyed the series. If it's in CS2, I'll definitely bring it back. But only time will tell. I, I also really like the in-game backs. So we'll definitely see what that's like and if they're going to get rid of it or what they're going to do. But anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed the series and this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one.